OOP stands for Object Oriented Programming. It helps us write cleaner, more organized code by using real world ideas like objects and classes. Let's start with classes and objects. A class is just a blueprint, like the design of the Iron Man suit. An object is what's made from it, the actual suit Tony wears. Next, encapsulation. This means hiding the internal work and only showing what's necessary. It's like using a phone, you tap the screen and use apps, but you have no idea what complex stuff is happening inside. Next, inheritance. It lets us reuse code from one class and another. Imagine you're building a ride booking app. You create a vehicle class with common features like speed and capacity. Then you make car, bike, and bus classes, and they all inherit from vehicle. No need to repeat code, they just use what's already there. Next, polymorphism. It means the same action can do different things based on the object. Think of the play button. On a music app, it plays a song. On a video app, it plays a video. Same button, but different behavior depending on the context. And finally, abstraction. It means showing only what's important and hiding the complex stuff. Like when you use Google Maps, you just enter a location and see directions, but you don't see how it calculates routes behind the scenes. And that's it. These OOP concepts are the same across all languages, only the syntax changes.